Well, hello everyone, it's Mary Bush with Stampin' in the Sand and welcome to the room off my garage. If you've been following me on my Facebook page, you'll know that, my, that I've been sick, my husband's been sick, and on top of that, my dog had space surgery. One of my dogs had space surgery and can't do the multitude of stairs it takes to get to the main floor of our house. So we are living in a kind of workshop, hobby room, whatever, off the garage on the main, you know, ground floor of our house, living, sleeping on air mattresses. So it's been a whole lot of fun. And today's the first day that I actually thought that I could talk long enough without um, coughing and uh, sputtering and losing my voice and <clears throat> all those fun things that go with being sick. So as you know, we are a few days now into the last chance list of the 2021-2022 annual catalog. And uh, this catalog does go through the end of um, April to May 2nd. So you have until May 2nd to order from this catalog. However, all of the retiring items that are in this catalog that are um, retiring with this catalog, I should say, are while supplies last. Now, normally in past years, you may have seen that Stampin' Up! would say the stamp sets were going to all be available through the actual end date of the catalog. But la maybe last year, the year before, I'm not really sure on the time, they changed it so that even the stamp sets are going to be while supplies last. And if you've been following me on my Facebook page, which you should be, so if you're not, jump on over to Stampin' in the Sand on Facebook and follow me. I've been sharing updates on the stamp sets and other items that are selling out or have sold out already. Um, so there are quite a few stamp sets that are actually already sold out and we're only a few days in to this retirement list. So if you see something uh, that you're interested in ordering or that's been on your wish list for some time and it's retiring, please don't wait. Do yourself a favor, order it now um, because you never know. In, in a few hours, it could be gone. I checked the retiring list this morning when I got up and I checked it again about 45 minutes later and there were already additional stamp sets on that list. So it changes, it gets updated um, pretty much within the, at least within the hour, if not instantaneously, as to what's no longer available. So again, do yourself a favor and order order your wish list items now. Even if you end up placing multiple orders throughout the retirement time, you're better off at least guaranteeing that those sets that you absolutely wanted to have are on their way to you before they're gone. So I thought today we would do a tour of the catalog, take a look at what's retiring, um, if I feel this is going on too long, I may break it into two segments, but let's see how far we can get. I also have a lot of card samples that um, I pulled through from my own stash. I do sell my cards, so I don't have a lot of cards um, from every single stamp set that's retiring, but I do have actually two boxes of cards that I can share with you today from, from the retiring list. So stay tuned because I do have samples to show you that maybe will inspire you for a stamp set that you had overlooked or thought maybe you weren't as inter interested in. I know that happens to me all the time. So let's get started. So this is our annual catalog. Again, um, the 2021-2022 annual catalog. And we're just gonna flip right to the beginning of the stamps. So our first one is the Beauty of Friendship Bundle. Now this is the stamp set Beauty of Friendship combined with the Beauty of Friendship dies. Now the Stampin' Up's doing something interesting with this bundle. The stamp set is carrying over, but the dies are retiring, which I'm really surprised. I've never seen them do something like that before, not carry over the dies. Especially something like this, where it's your trees, and your tree tops and your tree trunks and um, there's some little birds and little sentiment labels. So I'm really surprised this one's not carrying over. So if you don't have the Beauty of Friendship bundle 
and you're interested in the tree stamp set that we'll be carrying over into the next catalog, be sure to grab the bundle now so that you can ensure you get your dies that coordinate with that stamp set. Also, as we go through this catalog, the all the designer series papers are retiring. Designer series paper very rarely, if ever, carries over into the next publication. So the designer series paper that coordinates with this bundle and in this Beauty of the Earth suite will not be carried over. So if you want the paper that coordinates, be sure to grab that now too. Okay, moving on, we have the Seascape bundle. So that is your Seascape stamp set and your Sea Life dies. So that's the one that has the coral, it has a couple of little fishies, and it has the um, seahorse and the tropical fish that stay somewhat attached to the paper that you die cut it with, but you can just snip around and free them should you desire. And I do have samples with this one. And unfortunately, I'm not sure how I organize my samples. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I've already gone, I've already gone awry. So I do actually have some samples to show you from that stamp set on the previous page. Look at me, I've already forgotten. So we have the Beauty of Friendship stamp set and the dies. And here are just a few samples. Hopefully you don't have a terrible glare on these. I didn't take them out of the cellophane envelopes because um, I didn't want to wreck them. And the lighting in this room is a lot different than it is in my craft room. So hopefully you don't have a glare. And then we have this one. So I used um, the, the paper that looked more like a winter background on this one. And all of these cards here, these four cards, and actually this one too, do use the coordinating designer series paper. That's the Beauty of the Earth DSP. And then I have this one. This one I will take out of the cellophane because it's a gift card holder. So it ties around and then you untie it. And I had a class with, I did a class on this one. And you open it up. Here's where you can do your greeting and write your message. And then there's a pocket here for your gift card or cash. So that's samples. Those are samples using the Beauty of Friendship bundle. Okay, so let's go back to Seascape. I have a ton of cards to share with this one because I did a class on this one as well. You may have seen it. You may have taken it. This is actually a, a, pocket, a gate, gate fold card with a belly band. If I can get the belly band out of the package. So the belly band slides around the card and then it opens up as a gatefold. And then this is that die, that beautiful seahorse that stays stays attached to the paper you die cut it from. So it can be like a pop-up, but you can also just with a few little snips free your seahorse. So that's the, the seahorse. And then these are the little fishies that you'll also get um, in the die set. So that's that card. And then I did this card. This is the fishy, the big, large fishy that, um, again, stays inlaid in the paper until you snip it free. So that's another sample. This one just uses the stamps. And this one is actually a fancy fold. I should open this one too. So this one is actually a fancy fold where these panels tuck together. So it's another gatefold style card, but then this flap tucks behind the image layer on the front and it looks like one panel until you open it up and you realize that it's two panels. So that was a, that was a fun card. We did that in a class as well. Then I have this card. I've shared this on my blog before and on my Facebook page. So you may have seen this one before with the gold foil and the gold fishies 
And then I have this card. I really loved how this card came out. Where I did a, a large gold fish. Did his little tropical sea back there. I thought this was an interesting combination of colors. Then we have this card. Again, with that large seahorse. And then we have another one of these diorama cards. That's with the layering diorama dies. And the coral that the coral die cuts. So there's that. And here's your large fishy. Now this fishy doesn't have a die, so you do have to fussy cut him. Then I did this one. Now on this card, I should take this one out of the package too. On this card, this shows you how the fish stays attached to the cardstock layer. So his tail would come out like this. So this shows you how he stays attached to the paper until you cut him out. So you can see how you can lift him up so he's like a pop-up. So there's that one. And then this one, I probably should have just taken all these out. I'm gonna end up doing this the whole video. So I apologize. This one is a shaker card. So we have some gold fishies that are loose and some that are glued down. And then our beautiful gold seahorse. And I heat embossed the um, seaweeds with gold embossing powder and just fussy cut them out. Okay, so that is the Seascape bundle. So if you don't have that one, there's actually a lot of um, nautical type stamps and dies coming in the new catalog. Spoiler alert! And you know that there's some in the current mini catalog. So this is a great accompany set to the upcoming stamps and dies as well as the available items in the mini catalog. So don't overlook this one either. Okay, Art Gallery is carrying over. The A Wish for Everything and the Coordinating Word Wishes dies are retiring and on the first day, the stamp set sold out. So if you want the um, die cut words in the word wishes dies, you'll need to pick those up quickly because I'll predict those are gonna sell out quick too. Welcoming window, I just bought that one myself and it's retiring. So the welcoming window and the window flower box dies. So if you don't have that one yet, if you're if you're new to Stampin' Up! and haven't been you know around for a while, those that have been around for a while probably already own this, but if you don't have it yet, you may wanna grab that because it's going away. Okay, then we have Jar of Flowers is carrying over. The Mountain Jar, Mountain Air, blah, blah, Mountain Air is carrying over. The Celebrate Sunflowers is carrying over. The, let's see, Days to Remember is carrying over. Sending Hugs and um, the Retiring, um, what's it called? Layering Hugs Dies, Coordinating Layering Hugs Dies. Those are retiring and they already sold out. Then we have the Blossoms in Bloom and the Coordinating Many Layered Blossoms Dies. That's the one that does all that free form flowers. Those are retiring. Timeless Tropical, that's retiring and it's sold out. But the In the Tropics dies have not sold out, just the stamp set. So let's see, that takes us on to Garden Wishes. That's retiring, which is kind of a bummer. I know a lot of, some people didn't really care for it, but I really liked that one with the with the dandelions. I just have one card left to share with you for this set. Um, I coordinated it with the Dragonfly Garden bundle. This one's carrying over, but not as a bundle anymore. So the punch will be sold separate from the stamp set. So if you're interested in the garden Dragonfly Garden bundle, you might want to get that now while you can still get the 10% discount because when it carries over and they're separate, the discount goes away. So this card, 
see, it gets stuck. This one I created combining the two, like I said. So here's the, the um, stamped dandelions and the little bees. And you do get the dies with the bundle to cut out the little bees. I really like these little bees. And then this one is an easel fold card. So it pops up. And the wishing you all the best is in that stamp set as well. So if you're interested in that, be sure to grab it before it's sold out. And as I go along here and you start making your list, when I post this, I'm pre-recording this video because I don't, I didn't know how things were going to go down here in the, in the basement, so to speak. Um, when I post this video up on YouTube or, and on my Facebook page and my blog, there will be links for ordering all of these products and you can just pop right on over to my online store and place those orders. I will have uh, specials, ordering specials, and those will all be shared with you on the posts as well. So let's keep going. So we're gonna move on here. Painted poppies, that's carrying over. Peaceful moments is carrying over. Stitchery is carrying over. Enjoy the moment is retiring. So all our fun little seed pods and I do have a variety pack of cards to share with you on that one. This is a set of note cards that I did for class using this stamp set. So I just took the neutrals, some neutrals and regals colors, and just did little note cards where I just simply stamped a sentiment and some of the little seeds. And these were all just, like I said, note cards. So it, they all just had just a little note, but I used um, different combinations of the seed pods for my cards. And each one has the inside stamped as well as the outside and a coordinating envelope. These are our vanilla, very vanilla note cards and envelopes that you can order right through this catalog. And I believe these are carrying over as well. So they will be in the future publication. Friends are like seashells. That's carrying over, but not as a bundle. So if you want the bundle with the 10% discount, you should order that before this catalog ends because you will be paying the two individual full, price, full prices on these items because the bundle, go, bundle discount goes away. Pansy Patch, that one is carrying over, carried over as a bundle. So that will still be available with the discount. In Bloom and the stitched, the pierced, I keep wanting to calling them pier, stitched blooms. They're pierced blooms. So In Bloom stamp set coordinates with the pierced blooms dies. Those are both retiring. And I shared some samples using those um, using those pierced blooms dies on my Facebook page. So you can hop on over to that if you wanna see some samples. Lighthearted Lines is retiring. So that's those cute little punny sayings. Everything is figure outable, don't grow up, it's a trap. Uh, so that one's retiring. The Dress to Impress that's retiring. The stamp set is already sold out, which is unbelievable. But the all dressed up dies that coordinated, that is still available. That's the one that makes the little bags. And where did I put my little bags? Oh, so that's the one that makes um, the little tote bags or little purses. So this one I made to be like a beach bag. And then... I actually made, I was able to make little Stampin' Up aprons with that too. My handle doesn't want to stay stuck though. Probably should use Brad's. So this is a little uh, Stampin' Up apron uh, treat box that I made using the same die set. So that is your Dress to Impress dies and or stamp set and dies so let me see here so the all dressed up dies it's the one that you can create the little purses or bags like i showed you it has 
um, ribbon slides or purse strap slides, some buttons, the pocket like I used here for the um, um, for the pocket on the Stampin' Up apron. And then it has the little perfume bottle outline and there's even a sentiment tag or a sentiment label. So that's that's not a bad bundle if you don't even if you don't have the stamp set. And I wanted to say, I want to see if it's di if it's discounted because some of these are discounted. Yes, it's seventeen dollars and fifty cents. So it originally sold for thirty five dollars, and it's only seventeen fifty. So if you just want to be able to make the purses and you don't care if you don't have the perfume bottle and lipstick stamp. Um, Seventeen fifty is a pretty good deal to be able to make those those tote bags and um, purses. Okay, so moving on, we have sweet ice cream and the coordinating ice cream cone builder punch. I can't believe that one's carry not carrying over. That makes me really sad. I did a whole class using that one, and I've got lots of samples for you. So, except all of my dress to impress that I was going to show you are falling over. And there's no point in showing them to you because they're not, the stamp sets retired and sold out. So here's a couple, a few samples I did using the ice cream set, the sweet ice cream. So we have that one. We have this one. This one was a swap I received that I used to recreate this one and my stitch so sweetly dies are retiring i'm seriously gonna cry i'm so sad about that i cannot believe those are retiring so we'll get to those in a little bit uh this is another card sample that i did for a swap uh this one is a fancy fold so this one actually opens up like this so we have um, just the bottom opens up. And then I did a layer for writing on the inside that's directly behind the top layer. And again, this is those Stitch So Sweetly dies. I don't know what I'm going to do without them. Honestly, I use them on, on so many projects. Here's another, another card sample. And then this one... I did an ice cream sandwich box and it opened up, it opens up like this and I made one for my granddaughter and I did an insert in the middle to put candy on either side and then I did a, put a check in the middle. That was for her sweet 16. So just a little ice cream sandwich and then it go, gets held together with a belly band and I'm trying to get this in without wrecking it. So that's just another cute idea that you can do with the sweet ice cream. Measure of Love. This one was brand new in this catalog, and I just designed a class with this one, like literally three weeks ago. And then when we lost our little midgie, which if you follow me on my Facebook page, you know that um, I lost a very special dog a few weeks ago. And right before she passed, like that weekend, before she passed, I created a class with this and now I'm afraid to launch it because I don't know if the measure of love is going to carry, is going to sell out before I can launch the class. So I have lots of samples to show. So I did this one where I used, um, again, the stitch so sweetly dies because I literally use them on everything. So that's the cupcakes. Then I have, I cased the catalog, and this is my version of that, and I did two different different ones, so you more than measure up, and then I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. That actually came from a different stamp set. So that's my case of the catalog, and then I did these, and I did, this is the exact same card, again, with the stitch so sweetly, and I also use the um, checks and dots embossing folder, and that's retiring. I can't believe that. It's just ugh, such a bummer. And on this, um, 
This one, I colored the cupcakes and the labels with the Stampin' Blends. And then on this one, I used the stamp because it's two-step stamping. And then I did um, the fine tip glue pen to make the cupcake tops glossy. So there's a sample with that. And then here's another one where I did a black and black and red and white design. And this Playful Pets uh, Twill, what is it? Ribbon and Twine Combo Pack. That's retiring too, so that's gonna be gone. And again, I use the checks and dots embossing folder on this one, and it's going, it's retiring, ugh. And it just came out, we haven't even had it that long. So that's this one, where you get the checks and the dots for your two embossing folders. And I can't believe it's retiring already, ugh. I'm telling you, can't keep up. All right, brew some fun. That's retiring. That's the one that um, went with the coffee cups from, what, the last holiday catalog, I think, that was in. So brew some fun. That's retiring. What's cooking? I just ordered this. I literally just ordered this, and it's retiring. I haven't even had a chance to use it yet. And it's a great set, especially if you're making recipe cards, if you're scrapbooking, um, you know, family gatherings or baking with your kids or baking with your grandkids, cooking classes, I don't know, you name it. I really love this set and I cannot believe that it's, car it's not carrying over and I haven't even begun to use it yet. Craziness. So be sure to grab what's cooking because I'm surprised that hasn't sold out already. Simply Succulents, that's carrying over. We have the Create with Friends, that's retiring. We have Lovely You, that's actually coming back, that's carrying over. Daisy Lane, this one's retiring, and I don't exactly have samples using the Daisy Lane per se, but the large Daisy Punch that coordinates is being discontinued. So you can still order the medium daisy punch after this catalog retires, but the med the large daisy is retiring. So this one I use, these are some older cards that I had in my stash. This is the large daisy punch. And um, just with white, this is an older daisy stamp, but you could easily recreate it with this one here. And it's two two layers of the daisies. Again, it's another gatefold style. I really like that with the belly band. And there's two of those. That was for a, a class or, I think, yeah, we did that in a class once upon a time. I really like the smile in this one and the font that they used for the friend. And I've used this daisy here, this little one on the inside of, car, of a lot of cards. I really liked that one for, for the insides, just a little, add a little something in, in like a bottom corner and the nice little fern. I've used that a lot in, on the insides too. So Daisy Lane, that's retiring along with the large Daisy Punch. Then we have Timeless Tulips. So Timeless Tulips is retiring. This, if you remember at one time, it was bundled with the Tulip Builder Punch and it coordinates with the Tulip Builder Punch. The Tulip Builder Punch is actually carrying over into the next catalog, but the stamp set isn't. I don't know. I don't, I just, I don't make this stuff up. I'm not in charge. Someone else makes the decisions. So the stamp set's retiring. The punch is carrying over. So I have a bunch of samples using this one because again, I did a lot of classes with this one. So here's one I did where we used um, one of the coffee mugs from an older set and planted tulips inside our coffee cup. You could do that um, with a teacup as well, if you don't have the coffee cup. Then I did, I did a bunch of this style. All of my samples are starting to fall over now. So we have, um, and again, these are older, using older, uh, 
designer series paper, but you can also, you can recreate these easily with any paper you have. And my stamps are about to, my stamps are about to fall over. Hold on one second. I don't have enough weight. Use a bottle of water. I don't have enough weight. If you saw my, I have a stamp stack back here and um, it was starting to fall over. Sorry, I digress. So anyways, um, one of my glasses, we created this triangle fold. I don't, I'm not sure what it's called. Angle fold card. So your ribbon ties around the back and then we opened it up and we had the tulips on the inside. And you can do this, like I said, any designer series paper, any, gre any green, any color for your flower. Just a fun little unique fold. And I think there's a video on YouTube for this one too, because I think I did it in a Facebook Live. Then we have this pretty Easter card, just in the purples. Another one of those um, like triangle fold, I don't know what it's called, triangle fold, angle fold. Split triangle fold. I don't know. This one was in blues. And then just a just a plain pretty card. In I think this one is mang um, magenta madness. So there's that one. So there's your timeless tulips. Oh wait, I have one more. I did this one in a Facebook Live too, I think. This is another fancy fold. So we have the belly band with the tulips, and then it opens up like this. And there should be, there's a video out here, I believe, on this one as well. But if you have any questions, just drop me a note. If you want to see any of the videos I'm mentioning, I will see if I can find links for you. Otherwise, you can just do a search here on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, wherever you happen to be, and see if it pops up. Okay, Sunny Sentiments. That's retiring, and so is Sharing Sunshine. And I just ordered both of those, too, to go with the rainbows that are in the, in the mini catalog. I haven't even had a chance to use them yet, and they're retiring. So if they don't retire, in the, if they don't sell out in the next few days, maybe I'll get a chance to make the cards I had in mind for pairing these with the rainbows. I guess I better get cracking, right? Uh, best chapter, that's retiring and it's already sold out. Make it happen, that one's retiring. Bunches of fun with the little puppy in the cone, that's retiring. And I love this one because it's got... Um, let me see if I can find it. Where is it? On the brighter side, you don't need a cone. Well, that's my little puppy right now. She doesn't need a cone because I got her a surgical suit. Best thing I ever did. So if you have a dog and it's getting a spay or neuter surgery, these surgical suits are the bomb. This is the easiest spay recovery I've ever had. Okay, moving on. I digress. Many happenings and many messages and the coordinating messages die. Those are retiring. So this is the one where um, one big stamp stamps out all of these greetings and then you overlay the you overlay the die and it cuts each one out individually. But I also like this one. Let me see if I can find it in my thing here. Many messages. Here it is. I also like this die here because it coordinates with so many other messages, messages or greetings that you already have in your stash. So many more will fit in these sizes. So I actually will cut out a whole run of these in like basic white, basic white or very vanilla and put them in like a Ziploc bag or something like that. And then if I need a certain size for a project and I have a sentiment, I can just pull out my little stash of all the little pre-cut labels and stamp on that and have it all ready to go. And I had some, but it looks like I put them in. Oh, they're in here. I thought maybe they were in with the dies. They're in with the stamps. 
And then, so I just keep them. So here's, here's actually a bunch that I stamped the whole, the whole stamp and then cut it all out so they're ready to go. And here's a bunch more in different colors. And then upstairs in my craft room must be where I have the pre-cut ones that are blank. So there's just another idea for you because I really do like this die and I'm kind of surprised that they just didn't come out with another set. Let me see here. And this is called the Messages Die. So let's see. I want to see, and it's discounted. It's on sale for $27.20, originally $34, so it is even discounted. So if you're interested in picking that up, now's a good time to do it because it's on sale. All right, moving on, we have Sweet Strawberry Bundle. I'm crushed. I cannot believe that this isn't carrying over. I am so bummed about that. And I feel like I missed something. Nope, I'm just out of order. I am so bummed about this one. I can't even begin to tell you. I really thought this one would carry over. And I do have a bunch of samples. So we can, this is one that I shared previously where I made a berry basket. And I stuffed a whole bunch of strawberries into the basket and then had them cascading out with a little tag. That was a super fun one. And then this one looks like it's a fancy fold too. So, yep. Just another different fold for you there with the strawberries. And this one is one where I used the old berry basket die that Stampin' Up! had years and years and years ago. And I made my little basket and then have my little strawberries coming out of it. Then we have this one. This was a swap card that I received. Very simple. Then these, I think we did these. We may have done these in a class too. I can't remember if I did a video on this one or not. But I actually turned the strawberries into pears. So you just ink it up, ink it up in, in a shade of green and a shade of yellow, and you have pears instead of strawberries. Is that not the cutest thing? So that's retiring. I'm so sad. So far, as of this morning, it had not sold out. So if you want to grab your sweet strawberries, do it now. So sad. In the wild. This was, I'm not going to say it was a controversial set, but a lot of people weren't so sure about this one. I happen to like it. I thought it was a really cute, fun set. And it was different than anything we'd done before. So that kind of appealed to me because it was different. And there's a whole suite. And it's only $57.50 for the whole entire suite. And I don't believe any of the components of the suite are sold out. So if you buy the suite, you get the Wild Carts Cats Bundle and the... Where'd it go? Um, with the dies. So Wildcats stamp set and the Big Cats dies. Plus the In the Wild 12 by 12 paper, which is not carrying over. It's going to retire. And the Animal Print Embossing Folder. And I think that one's retiring too. And we're going to do embossing folders in a little bit. But I want to check that because I don't want to misspeak. Animal print is retiring, which is a bummer. And it's only three, it's marked down to $375. So forget I, what I said about buying the bundle. I mean, the suite, because if you buy the suite, you're paying full price for the embossing folder. So forget that. If you want them, order them separately because it'll be cheaper since the animal print uh, embossing folder is on sale for only $375. So what did I do with that one? So I have. I have a couple. I only have a couple to share with you because I actually use these for um, for boys' birthday cards that I and I sold them, so I don't have them anymore. And then this one I came up with. It's a diorama, so there's all sorts of layers with our 
foam strips. And it's just a whole bunch of different layers with the designer series paper. So there's one, two, there's three different patterns of the designer series paper in this diorama card. And then I stamped, I stamped the tiger. And then this is just some greenery that you get in that die set. And there's different layers of them here. This one's stuck under the greeting. So I thought that came out super cute. Don't you? I think that's cute. I don't know. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Are you a fan of the Wildcats or were you eh? And there go all my cards onto the floor. And did I happen to change your opinion of it at all? Let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think of Wildcats. Okay, moving on. We have a good man. That's retiring. And hats off. That's retiring as well. That's the stamp set and the dies. And I love this one. I can't believe that this is not carrying over. This is a great set. Not only for masculine cards, but for ladies too. I wear baseball caps every single day of my life. I don't, I'm not lying. I haven't had a haircut and I haven't had my hair colored in longer than I want to admit. My hair is way too long. I tie it in a ponytail. I shove it through the back of my baseball cap, put my cap on my head, and I'm good to go. I got my sun, the sun visor, keeps the sun out of my eyes. This South Carolina sun covers the fact that I haven't colored my hair and holds my ponytail. I love, love, love this set. And I'm so bummed that it's not carrying over. <sighs> and I think, I know I've shown this before. I made a Disney hat out of it. Look at that. Is that not the cutest thing? For your Disney fans. And you can't. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it. Well maybe you can see it in this light. I can't tell what you can see or what you can't. But there's stitching in the baseball caps. It's so cute. I love it. And it's going away. And then I showed these on my Facebook page the other day. This is a whole bunch of hats that I made. So somewhere I found this little tractor printout. So this is supposed to be like a John Deere hat. I'm a farm girl. I love my tractor. So I made a little tractor hat. And then I did pink camo, but I haven't put anything on the on the front of it yet. And then for my dog friends, I did um, pink camo hats with Labradors, because that's what I have. In case you didn't know, I have Labradors. Hunting retrievers. So there's... Um, Green camo, hunting retriever hats. And then I did one with a deer. And then I did one with the bear. And the little bear is actually in the die set. So if you look at the accompanying dies, I don't know if you can see this. There we go. We have um, different labels for the, fronts of the ha front of the hats and they die cut these stamped images, or you can uh, die cut them out of the paper, out of paper like I did here. Then we have a lightning bolt. We have a buffalo, a star, a fishy, and a pine tree. And then there's a little tiny baby hat, which is so cute. But the um, the big hat die, I just can't can't believe this is retiring. I'm so sad. I mean, look at the detail that you get on that baseball cap. And there's so many different things that you can get creative with to put on the front of the hat. Oh, this is an extra one. Ah, that's not even stuck onto one. Good grief. Isn't that cute? So, I'm telling you, it's a Mary's must have. You need to have the hats off. Everybody should own it. So go get it right now in my online store. Go get it. Be like Mary. Buy it. Okay, moving on. Path to Greatness is retiring. Bamboo Beauty is carrying over. The Whiskey Business, that one's carrying over. Then my pages are sticking together. We have After the Storm. I literally just bought this one again to go with the rainbows. Retiring, sold out like the first day. 
<sighs> Handsomely suited. Now, I can understand the stamp set retiring because it's eh. You know, I was never really in love with the stamp set. But the dyes, the suit and tie dyes, these are awesome. And I don't know. i got to find my dyes. Handsomely suited. Okay, so yeah, the stamp set's kind of eh, you know, take it or leave it, whatever. But the dies, seriously, you can make your, you can make suits and ties and pockets and there's little buttons, bow ties, long ties. You can do, um, oh my God, I want to call them stirrups, but they're not suspenders. You can make suspenders, belts. I love this. And I did a class to go with this one and it was a huge hit. It was an I just loved creating these cards. So for my class, and I have to take these out because they're awesome. So we did one, this is one where we did the suit and we did the pocket with the little, um, little pocket squares coming out in the tie. And we have a belly band that slides off. And then this opened up and this flipped up. So here's your shirt. There's where you write. There's your shirt, and then it closed, so it's just a gatefold. And then the um, belly band, whoops, belly band slid up, and it tucks under the pocket like that. So that was one of the cards in the class. And if you'd be interested in purchasing the tutorial for this class, I still have um, access to the PDF. So I can always send you a link if you want to order the suit and ties class to go p uh, tutorial. Then we did this one where you just did the front of the card is the suit. And then the inside was just for um, just a regular piece of paper for writing your message. But we did the whole outside as a suit. And then we did, I think this one was part of the class too where we did the Happy Father's Day. And then, let's see, I know there were, oh, we also did a box, there was a box, and I forgot to bring the box down here, but we did a box. Then I've made um, this card. So you have your, your shirt and your collar and your tie, and then opened it up, and here's the inside of the shirt, and it's a gift card holder, too. So there's a pocket here for the, for the gift card. And the tailored tag punch is retiring. What the heck? What's Stampin' Up! Doing, us, doing to us? Do you know how many of us use this for banners, to do banners with? Ugh. And they're retiring it. I don't get it. So sad. So if you haven't seen this one yet, or you don't own it yet, you really need to have it because it's so versatile, especially for using with the banners. And it's on sale for only $14.40, regularly $18. Why is this retiring? Oh, my stamps fell over. I don't know why that's retiring, but it is. So go get it before it's gone. Ugh, so sad. And this is one that I received in, I just ripped the envelope in a swap. So it's just a standard uh, Father's Day card, but did a did the jacket, the pocket, a tie. This time it, the tie is popping out. Uh, there's still a little button on there and the, the shirt. So, you know, like I said, the stamp set, eh. Take it or leave it. The dies, you gotta have the dies. It makes the best masculine cards. And I just saw someone made um, a St. Patrick's Day card where they did the suit in green, in like a Kelly green. And I was going to make that for St. Patrick's Day. And I still can because I own it, but I can't believe this is retiring. The other one I can't believe is retiring is Sailing Home. The stamp set and the dies. It's been around for a while. I get it. You know, it's aging out. But still, I love this one for masculine cards. And I don't have that many because, again, I sell my cards and I shipped off almost all the cards I made with this to sell. And they all sold out. I'm happy to say everyone loved them and they sold out, but it gives me no samples. Um, but I did this one. 
So this one uses the rest and rest and relax. You deserve it from a different stamp set. I think it's later in this catalog. And then here's the stamped um, lighthouse with the coordinating die cut. And I believe the wheel is from that too. So sailing home. I brought, believe it or not, I brought down all 50 stamp sets that I own that are retiring. So here's sailing home, the stamp set. It's even got the birds. These are not the birds from the set. These are from a different set, but they do. this set does have birds. Here's your wheel. So there's the ship's wheel that I did. Let's see if I can hold this. You don't have too much of a glare. So here's your ship's wheel. There's your lighthouse. You could use the birds that are in the set. Just as easy. Um, it has the anchor. So you can stamp your anchor and cut it out, or you can just cut the anchor by itself. It's got this great sentiment border with the flagged edges. I use this a ton in those cards that I sold. It's got the um, the rope detail for a roped border, and then it has even a knot, so you can put the knot over the rope. There's another sentiment label here. And that fits Let's Hope Be Your Anchor. And I think it also fits the set sail in the direction of your dreams. But it's also great for any other sentiments that you may have in your collection. It's not nautical in any way. Neither is this one. It has the two boats that cut out the two stamp boats. It has some seaweed here that would go with any of our sea sets. So I think this is a great one. Oh, and it does... Um, you have your compass stamp that can be cut out with a punch or layering circles dies. And then it even has the, the spinners for the compass. There's two different kinds here. Um, I'm not, I don't know what the two different ones are. I know this is just a regular spinner. That must just be a regular one too. Two different styles. I don't know, maybe someone nautical, can, more nautical than I, nautically versed can tell me. And then you have your lighthouse. I just love this one. I'm just so sad. I lost 51 stamp sets out of my collection with this retirement. 51. That's a lot. There's another one I did where I just stamped the compass. I did use the birds that came in the set, the sentiment, and stamped and die cut the lighthouse. Here's another one. This is that fabulous um, sentiment die and this happy birthday came from an entirely different set don't even remember what set it came from so you don't have to just use the stamps that are in the set with these sentiment labels <sighs> bye bye my friend okay moving on um inspired thoughts the sentiment set carries the trees and um, accompanying dies do not. So if you like this sentiment set and know that it's carrying over into the next catalog and you want to have it and you want to pick up the tree dies before they retire, now would be the time to do it. I, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't make the rules. I don't make the decisions. Nobody asked me. So the tree dies are gone. Sentiment set is carrying over. Nature's Beauty, that one's retiring. I use this a lot at Christmas. I also use it a lot for masculine cards. The um, Campology is carrying over. The Grand Kid is carrying over. Pampered Pets is not carrying over. That's retired. And the Pets Dies are retiring also. Um, let me see what else is in this Pampered Pets. So we have, I haven't even used mine. It's still got the backings on it. Sigh. But I love the little mouse. He's so cute. Okay, so this one has the paw prints that make the paw print inlay in your projects. And then the um, die cuts for the stamped pets. So if you're a pet person or a pet lover... This is a good set to have. You get the little food bowl. It's a cute set. I like this one. Hope your day is a real treat. Actually, I bought this one 
I don't have schnauzers, obviously I have Labradors and I don't have cats, but I actually bought this one um, for friends that have schnauzers or friends that, you know, just have dogs and don't care if I give them breed specific cards. But um, I bought this because I wanted the, I hope your day is a real treat to go with the ice cream set. <laughs> And now the ice cream set's retiring too. But it's just another idea of how you can um, coordinate sentiments from different sets together with images from other sets because um, that's why I bought that, was for that sentiment. Wildly adorable. It's retiring and it's already sold out. Turtle Friends. The, that's retiring. The Turtle Punch is retiring and the stamps are already sold out. I can't, I'm just dumbfounded. So the turtle stamp set is gone, but you can still get the punch. I had samples to show you. Maybe you don't even care now because you can't get it. But I made, I cased the catalog. So here's my version of their card. I just did lighter colors on my turtle. <sighs> sad, so sad. Oh, and then I did this one. I guess you could still do it. You could still do these. You just won't have, you'll just have solid turtles. So this is um, one of those little flippy, flippy cards where you get the, it's time to celebrate and then it flips open. I didn't really do this one right, so it gets stuck. Um, maybe this one's better. I have two. This one might flip better. I know one of these flip better than the other. Yeah, this one. This one flips better than the other one. So, cute. And then on the inside, I just did, happy belated birthday. Sorry I was slow. Actually, I should send this to my granddaughter because her birthday was right after we lost Midgey. And, um, we never got her card in the mail. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Mia. Bad Grammy. Okay, Stellar Birthday, that one's retiring. It's got a cute little puppy dog, if you're into puppy dogs. Um, that went with the Give It A World Eyes, which are carrying over. Then we have uh, One Happy Family is carrying over. The Pirates and Mermaids, that one is retiring. We have All For Baby, this is retiring with the cute little onesies and the little bear. I can't believe this one's not carrying over. This one isn't even that old. So hopefully there's gonna be a new baby set, cute baby set in the new catalog. I'm not sure on that one. So if you need baby cards, you need the set before it's gone. I love the little, the little onesies, they're so cute. <sighs> You're a peach. This is retiring too, we're losing all our fruit. So Sweet as a Peach is retiring. The bundles are retiring. The whole bundle is retiring. The stamp set's retiring. And the dies are retiring. I love the font that they used on this stamp set. I use this thanks so much and happy birthday a ton because I love the font. I like the size of it. I like the I like the size of the font and I like the font itself. And I love the peaches. You can make cherries out of these little guys here just by inking them in a different color. I love the peach, and I only have one card to show you. And the designer series paper is going away too. So we're gonna have no peaches at all. So this is the peach designer series paper. And my stitch, no, this isn't stitched so sweetly. This is the other one. What's the other one? I don't remember. This isn't stitched so sweetly. I think this is the other one. I'm gonna have to look. So here's sweet as a peach. And this is another one of those cards like I showed you with the trees. So it opens up. This was in a class too. And has the gift card holder. I might have to offer another class using this style. So if you're interested in learning how to make this card, because I've made it in a whole bunch with a whole bunch of different stamp sets, um, let me know. And I will create a new class for you. So there's the peaches. <sighs> I can't believe we're losing all our fruit. I'm so sad. All right, so turn the page, buy fruit. 
Hippo happiness. This one's retiring. I'm really sad about losing the Hippo and Friends dies because they're awesome. And I have used um, the Hippo and Friends little critters because they're so cute. And I like the fluttering by just to say hi because that goes with any um, butterfly set that we have. And um, these are just wicked cute little critters and these dies I use a ton it's got the best label dies and it's retiring it's hard when they bundle like a cute stamp set with these amazing dies because then when they retire the stamp set you lose all these amazing labels too so sad but they're not sold out yet so you still have time. Put them on your list. It's called Hippo Happiness Bundle or Hippo Happiness and Hippo and Friends Dies. Sorry, they're not a bundle anymore. Hippo Happiness and Hippo and Friends Dies. You must have those dies. I'm telling you right now. Biggest wish, carrying over. Thank you. Celebrate with flowers. This one's carrying is not carrying over. It's retiring. And it's got this great happy birthday that goes... Um, vertically one of the few vertical message sets that we have if not the only so if you need a happy birthday that goes vertically instead of horizontally there's your set okay way to go retiring sold out on the first day no more goats they kick the can they're gone from all of us is retiring hey birthday chick and the dies are retiring. This is the one that came back that was, what, a 2007 celebration set, I want to say. And it, retire, it retired, and then it came back. And now it's retiring again. And I'm trying to find my stamp set so I can show you what's in the dies. All right, so we have um, the Hey Birthday Chick. So we have all our different little chickies. Libby just woke up and she's sneezing. Oh, now she's going back to sleep. Um, so here's Hey Birthday Chick. And then the dies, you have your coordinating dies for your stamped images. You have your little grain sack. A happy birthday, the die cuts the words. The little picket fence. Um, some bunting. Little um, hash marks that inlay into the paper. And then the little baby chicky is there. And I had samples of those. So here's one that I did with Hey Birthday Chick where I made a barnyard. This is from, um, the house is from the other, other uh, chicken set that we had that retired. But the picket fence is from this set. And then the, the chick that's flying away on the balloon. And then um, this is like a monochromatic card where I just stamp the chick in the, and then um, cut balloons. The happy birthday is from the set. And I just did, I just did tone on tone monochromatic. And while we're at it, the bumblebee gingham ribbon is retiring. It's not carrying over. Ugh, I love this ribbon. I use it for so many different things. So that's Hey Birthday Chick. Then we have um, Peekaboo Farm is carrying over. Happiest of Birthdays is retiring. I use this on the inside of my cards all the time because I love the big wishing you the happiest of birthdays that I can. So I put it on the inside and then I can just say, dear so-and-so, love Mary or love Mary Roger and the pups or whatever. And it takes up like the whole inside of the card. So there's not a lot of room for me to ramble. <laughs> so I love this set. I can't believe it's not carrying over. I'm so sad. And the It's Your Day, Enjoy It is perfect for the inside of cards too. And there's even a belated one. So if you don't have this one, you need to go get it because it's retiring and it's awesome. And Mary said you have to have it because she uses it all the time. Party Puffins, this one's carrying over. So that's good, the cute little Puffins. The Elegantly Said Bundle with the Punch is retiring. 
I love this scroll for like a classic black and white or black and vanilla card. It'd be great for weddings and stuff. The Encircled in Friendship Bundle, the dies in the stamp set, retiring. Forever Fern is carrying over. Threw it together, this great sentiment set that's carrying over. Forever Blossoms is retiring and it sold out the first day. The Peonies are retiring. So that's the prize peony stamp set and the peony dies. Gone, retiring, bye-bye. So you need to get that one if you don't have it and you love peonies. Always in my heart and the floral heart dies. Those are retiring. I love this banner, especially when you die cut it because it, it crimps and folds so it can be like 3D. Shaded Summer is carrying over. The Positive Thoughts, that's retiring. I've used this a ton too. I love this butterfly and this flower for the insides of cards. And the fern, I've used that a lot too. I love this font. I just don't have any samples to show you using this. Uh, Forever Grapevine. This is sold out. And I think this, this was new in this catalog too. And it didn't make the cut for the next catalog. Um, the dyes are awesome. Because the dyes cut the um, grapevine. And it also works awesome as a pumpkin vine. So forever grapevine. I'm going to go into my bucket here. Where is it? F. F, F, F. Forever grapevine. Here it is. Forever grapevine. So you have your, your, stamp, your large stamped image. I mean, that's huge. That's really big. Oh, here's some die cut leaves. So this is really big. That's a really big stamp. And it's line art, so you can color it with your blends, color it with markers, however you want. Tons of different sentiments. Must admit, not so crazy about that sentiment border. But you don't have to use it. Or maybe you love it. Don't mean to insult you. Maybe you love it. Just wasn't my thing. But then you have your um, grape, leaf, grape vine and some leaves. And I've used this a bunch with the pumpkins, with pumpkins for Thanksgiving. I have one sample to show you. And this uses um, the retired pumpkin set, but you can see how I did the grapevines to put my pumpkin on. And we have, there's tons of pumpkin stuff out there. So whether you have a pumpkin punch, a pumpkin dye, whatever, come Thanksgiving and harvest time, everybody's into the pumpkins. So this set, this die set alone is a must have just to have the die, just to have the um, vine. And they, you can buy it separately. So you can buy just the grapevine dies. You don't have to get the stamp set if you don't want it. But as of, um, oh, and it's sold out. Read your handwriting, Mary. The stamp set is sold out. Oopsie, but you can still get the dies, and I'm telling you the dies are well worth it on their own. I just said that, right? So buy the dies. Sorry you lost the stamp set, but you can still buy the dies. Ornate thanks. I had a ton of samples to show you, and it sold out this morning. So that's gone. Um, blah, flowers of friendship. That one carries over with the punch, but it won't be bundled. So if you wanted the stamp set and bundle, uh, stamp set bundle at the 10% discount, now is the time to buy it because at the end of this catalog, it's going to be debundled and you'll be paying full price for each item. Beautiful Moments sold out and it is retiring and it sold out. Bloom Where You're Planted, the Plentiful Plants stamp set and dies are carrying over but not bundled. So if you want that 10% discount on each item, you need to order them before the end of this catalog to save your 10%. The coordinating paper is not carrying over. That is going to be retired. And once it's gone, it will be gone. So if it sells out today, you will not see it again. Count on me is, re is carrying over. Free as a bird. This is retiring. This has been around for a while. 
But if you haven't been around for a while, this is retiring. So if you like the little birdies or the fonts in the um, messages, now's the time to buy this. And uh, Whale Done is carrying over. Thank God for small favors. We get to keep the whale. Sweet Farewell is retiring. Right behind you is retiring. Back on your feet, retired and sold out. Gone. Unbelievable. I'm telling you. I wish, I, I wish I'd wish i been able to do this walkthrough with you sooner. But I, I had no voice. I couldn't do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Badger Besties. That one's retiring as well as Senior Years. So if you like the senior puns or need a good retirement set, this is for you. Nothing's better than that one is carrying over. So that's good. I'm happy for that with all our little cocktails and coffee and chocolate. Carrying over. Tidings of Christmas. This one is going. The DSP is going. The stamp set's already sold out. You can still get the um, Christmas trimmings dies, which you don't have to have the stamps in order to use. So the dies are still available if you need stars or stockings, Christmas stockings. We have Festive Foliage, that background stamp, that's retiring. Snowflake Wishes, this is retiring, along with the So Many Snowflakes dies. So that's all your snowflakes. Um, may Your Season Sparkle. There's a Happy Hanukkah in this set. Thank you, Snow, much. Our friendship is one of a kind. In the coldest moments of the year, my heart is warm because you're near. So there's some great sentiments that carry that aren't just holiday. Evergreen Elegance is retiring the Christmas set with the pines. The punch is carrying over. That's that row of, of trees. Um, I thought I had a sample. Gotta get through all these. Here's here's um the tree. And then I just added some of the red rhinestones to be um, ornaments or Christmas lights. So, and my stitch so sweetly dies. So sad. Okay, poinsettia petals and the poinsettia dies. Those are retiring. They won't be back. So if you need a good poinsettia set, this is for you. Grab it now. No way of knowing if there's going to be another poinsettia set in the next holiday catalog. Uh, snowman season, retiring, sold out. Perfectly plaid, retired, sold out. Pine tree punch. Um, I'm not sure if the pine tree punch is carrying over. I would think not. Pine tree punch. Let's see. Do you see it? Where is it? Pine tree. Nope. It's retiring and it's on sale for $14.40. So you can still punch the trees. Okay. Season's Blessings. This one's retiring and it was brand new. And I love this one. I use this as eucalyptus. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I use it as eucalyptus. Um, I love the Season's Blessings font on this one. So thankful for all you do. May your day be filled with good things. That would also be good for um, a birthday. I love the basket. Poinsettias, fall leaves. I'm a, you know me, I'm a fall girl. I, anything leaves, I buy. Um, I do have a couple samples. So on this one, I used the poinsettia and I paired it with little hollies from... Banner Year, which is sold out and retiring. But you have multitude. I'm sure you have hollies in your collection. But I used the um, poinsettias and made my own, like, DSP and made a super simple Christmas card. And this was a huge hit, actually. I did this in a class, and everybody loved it. And I'm like, really? It's so simple. But sometimes simple is just as pretty as complicated, right? And then I did this one. I cased the catalog, actually, and made this card. So what they did in the catalog is they used the basket as a border. So that's actually the border, the basket just stamped along the edge of the card. 
And then there's the um, poinsettias and some leaves and the basket. And the dies, there's dies for this. And it cuts out the poinsettias, it cuts out leaves, it cuts out the basket. Somewhere along the line, I had a really pretty card and I couldn't find it. So I might have sold it. Um, that used this mesh basket here. I think you can see that. It used the mesh basket and um, it came out so cute. And I can't, I don't know what I did with it. So I must have sold it or sent it to somebody. Oh, here's a sample of it though. See right here? That's with all the detail and everything. I love this set. So if you love Seasons Blessings Bundle 2 as much as I do, pick it up before it disappears. As I said, banner year, it's already gone. Sold out like the first day. Artistically inked, that's carrying over and the dies are carrying over, but not bundled. So again, if you like this bundle and you want the 10% discount, you need to order it before the end of the catalog. Uh, color and contour and the color and contour, the color and contour and the scalloped contours dies are carrying over, but not together. So if you want the 10% discount on those, you need to order now because they're going to be debundled and you'll just have to pay full price for each individual component. Um, all things fabulous. This is retiring and... I actually, let's go back to color and contour for a minute because I have a ton of samples for that one. And I may as well show you because we're here. So I have this one. So that's the stamped flower and it's die cut. And then a stamped flower die cut. Okay. Um, this stitch scallop is in the die set. And so is the label that I use here for the sentiment. Again, with the stitched scallop border and die cut flowers, die cut leaves. This one again has the stamped and die cut flower paired with the designer series paper. This is retiring too. This gorgeous paper is retiring. Um, what was I gonna say to you? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, it's two-step stamping. So you don't have to color the flowers. You can actually stamp them if you want to, or you can color them with your blends, whichever you prefer. Uh, let's see, this is a different set. I don't know why that's there. That's a different set. So anyways, color and contour. This was a class that I did. Um, all things fabulous, that's retiring. All Things Fabulous stamp set and the Fabulous Florals dies. The Henna Hearts, this one's retiring. Skip Etches and Etched in Nature because that one got discontinued before the catalog even went live because they had production issues with the um, Im some of the images and they couldn't get them repaired so they just scratched the stamp set altogether. Very Versailles, that sold out like immediately. To the Moon, that one's retiring. And I like this one, More Thanks Than Stars in the Sky. And you could actually selectively ink, and if you had a Love You More Than or something like that, um, you could pair other sentiments with Stars in the Sky. Always Reach for the Stars, that's a good one. Enjoy This New Phase of Life is Good for Retirement. Love you to the moon and back is good for everybody. Kids, grandkids, spouse, mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. That's a great sentiment. I don't own that. I may have to buy it. I might have just talked myself into it. Watercolor shapes, carrying over. Uh, best year, that's retiring. We have hand pen petals. It's carrying over, but not bundled together. And that's actually where this one came from. That came from there. So again, carrying over, but not together. So if you want the discounted price, order it now, because when it goes into the new catalog, they'll be separate and you'll be paying full price for each piece. 
Butterfly Brilliance. This is that big background stamp with the butterfly, and it has the coordinating dies that cut out the individual butterflies. Carrying over, but not bundled, so you're going to lose the discount on that one. Um, I have it right in front of me. Where did it go? No, I don't have it in front of me because it's carrying over. I only pulled the retiring sets. So I'll show you the dies when we get to the die section. Daisy Garden, that's carrying over. It's the big giant um, background stamp of daisies. Garden Bird Houses, this is carrying over. So we keep our little birds and the little in the little bird houses. Uh, birds and Branches, that one retired is retired and it's sell it sold out of the stamps already. But the dies are not sold out. So let's see. Birds and branches. What's in the dies? So the dies have the window die with the leaves. Two birds, two detailed birds, a branch, the nest that you could actually um, like stamp a cross hatch or um, just die cut a piece of paper and run it through um, an embossing folder to have your nest, your little eggies, um, a detailed border with the leaves, the little heart. So a flower. So I'm actually thinking this wouldn't be a bad die set to have even without the coordinating stamp set because you can still do a lot with that one despite not having the stamp. So I wouldn't be afraid to order this one without the, without the stamp set. That would be fine. I mean, the stamped birds that the die cuts out, you just have like a silhouette. That would be fine. Put a little dot for an eye and you've got a bird. So let's see, birds and more dies. Let's see if those are discounted. While we're here, Birds and more. They're $20.40, so they're $14 off. So for $20, bucks, I would not be afraid to buy the die set separately, even though the stamps are discontinued and, and sold out. Okay, hand-drawn blooms. This is going to retire. It has all these great sentiments. Um, and has a coordinating die set. We have Hydrangea Haven. This is carrying over with the hydrangea dies, but debundled. So you're gonna lose your 10% discount if you wanna get the bundle together. I'm just checking our time. I knew this was gonna go on long. Uh, Quiet Meadow, this is carrying over with the coordinating meadow dies, just debundled. So you're gonna lose your 10% discount on that too. Tasteful Touches, this is retired. I can't believe this hasn't sold out yet. And it's also, um, coordinates with, but not bundled with, the Tasteful Label dies, And we're losing those too. Oh, I'm telling you. It's crazy. Where's, where are my dies? I don't know if I brought them down. I thought I did. Tasteful Touches. Let me check my basket. Hold, please. Hold, please. Hold, please. Hold, please. I did. Okay. So look at these dies. So I photocopy my dies before I put them in the package. But look at all these great dies. Ugh, I love these dies. I use these all the time and they're retiring. They're going away, gone. Ugh, so sad. So tasteful touches, tasteful label dies, retiring, gone, bye-bye. In symmetry is retiring as well as the symmetrical stems borders punch. Say that 10 times fast. Batique Boutique and the Batique dies are retiring. Love of Leaves, gone. The stamp set retired and, the, they, and sold out in the first day, but the dies have not sold out yet. All right, and these dies are Awesome. If you are a leaf lover like me, oh my gosh, my piles are starting to fall over. You should see my little tiny table. So love of leaves. Okay. Stamp set's gone. The stitch leaves dies are not sold out as of this morning. Okay. 
can't tell you that they aren't sold out now. Um, love of Leaves. Where is it? I'm trying to find my thing. I wonder if I didn't bring it down here. Hold, please. Love of Leaves. I can't find it. I can't find it. I don't see it here. Somehow I missed pulling it. Okay. Well, anyways, I have samples. I can't believe I didn't pull that one. All right, hold please. I have tons of samples, tons. Okay, so when you get your dies, the stitch dies, they cut the negative and the positive. So you can see on this copper foil here, there's stitching around the outside of the leaf. So the foil was die cut and then it was laid over designer series paper. And then here's the positive side. So this is the leaf that cut out of this foil. So I was able to get two different, totally different cards with one cut of the foil. Again, on this one, here's the stitching on the outside of the square. I hope you can see that. And then here is the die cut that came out of the hole. So there's that one. Um, this just shows what the stamped image looked like, but yours, you can also um, just stit, cut the stitched leaves by themselves, and they're just as pretty. So there's that one. This was another class that I did. That's pieces from a class. <laughs> Ignore that one. Again, stitched leaves. You don't even have to have them stamped. You could just watercolor wash on a piece of um, basic white paper and cut it out with the dies and you'd have the same effect. This one, again, you can see the stitching around the outside of the leaf. And then this is the leaf that came out of the middle with the stitching. Same thing on this card. This one I'll take out because it's already open. This one's actually um, two layers, so it pops up like this. So it's multi-dimensional, but you can see the stitching in that leaf. And then um, this was another one. That's that It's Your Day from the birthday set that's retiring. And then here's one in some really bold fall colors that I did with those stitched leaves. And these labels are that are being discontinued. Gosh, I'm telling you. Too much. We're losing too much. So, Love of Leaves, the, bun, the stamp set is gone, but the stitched leaves dies, from what I know, are still available. Queen Anne's Lace. I have a bunch of samples with that one too. So we have um, just a plain, you know, stamp the flowers just as is. And I did a bunch of different um, color layouts, changed up the sentiments. So each one had a different sentiment. Um, it doesn't belong in there. Added a butter. I don't know why that butterfly is there. It's a purple butterfly too. Why did I put or a blue butterfly? Huh. I wonder if I covered an oops. <laughs> I wonder if I got an ink, ink spot there and covered it up. I don't know. So, anyways, there's just some really simple cards with the Queen Anne's lace. Uh, Art and Bloom and the Art and Bloom bundle is retiring. All squared away and all squared away um, uh, floral squares dies. Those are retiring. That's also part of the um, promotion that's going on right now with the um, cut and emboss machine that's on sale with some select dies. This is part of that sale. And I meant to bring that flyer down and I forgot. The birch um, background. It's re it retired and it's actually already sold out. Dry brush is is carrying over. 
Wild Roses is retiring. The Spiral Dye background stamp is, is carrying over the tie dye. Stack Stone is carrying over. Handmade for You with our Angel Policy stamp with the copyright Stampin' Up stamp. This is retiring, but there will be a new one to replace it. But if you like these, like Craft Queen, Crafter's Gonna Craft, <laughs> um, Handmade for You, the little scissors with the leaves and the copyright stamp. If you like this one, buy it now because it's retiring. I don't know what the new Angel Policy stamp set is. Okay, so then we come to colors. Don't forget that the 2020-2022 block of in colors is retiring. Ink refills are already selling out. Um, I'm sure the cardstock and the Stampin' Blends are gonna be soon to follow. So if you love these colors, be sure that you're stocking up now. Card display, this is retiring and it's 50% off at $15. Great for hanging on your wall or putting up on a um, tabletop to display your, your projects or photos. Um, the Memories and More cards will be retiring. Like I said, all the designer series papers are going to be retiring. So none of these papers are gonna be returning, not a single one. We're also losing the Color Family designer series paper patterns. They will be replaced by something new in the, ne in the next catalog. But if you happen to like, like I love this crosshatch pattern, <sighs> but these are all gonna be retiring. So, you know, if you like these patterns, be sure to grab these packs now. Some are, I think they're discounted too like $6.90 or something like that. I believe they're on sale. Um, let me see, what else, what else, what else? A lot of this is going, like almost all of this is going. So we're losing the acetate card boxes. That's a bummer, I like those for packaging cards for gifts or treats. Those are gone though. Um, ombre gift bags, those are retiring. They're discounted $4.80 from $6. The mini jam jars, those are retiring. The little um, acetate card boxes for three by three cards, those are retiring and they're discounted to $4.80. Mini coffee cups, those are retiring. The mini paper pumpkin boxes are retiring. Those were great for gifts and gift cards too. Losing those. Simply Classic Treat Boxes, those are these little gold and white ones. Those are retiring, they're $4 off, they're $6. Um, scalloped Craft Treat Boxes, I think those are carrying over. They're not marked, so they must be carrying over. Um, the printed gusseted cellophane bags with like the little um, asterisk, pom-pom, snow, whatever you wanna call them, print on the bags, those are retiring. And um, the cellophane bags are carrying over. Ribbon, a lot of our ribbons going. So we're losing the gorgeous grape. We're losing the petal pink. We're losing the black glittered organdy. I can't believe that. That makes me totally sad. Losing the just jade and gold, the flirty flamingo and gold, the fine art ribbon. The open weaves are carrying over in the carrying over in colors. That's actually a surprise. They don't usually do that. Evening evergreen weave is gone. It's not gone, gone. It's retiring. I don't think it's sold out. Smoky slate is um, retiring. The old olive pretty peacock reversible. That's retiring. We're keeping the white seam binding and we're keeping the pool party sheer. And then of course these, but that's it. These are discounted prices that you see written here. Um, over here, it looks like we're losing the real red and that's $6. Highland Heather discounted to 360. The Bumblebee ribbon, that's gotta be sold out by now, but maybe not. I have them in my cart, so I hope they're not sold out yet. And discounted to five sixty. I can't believe they discounted it. We would have bought it out at full price. 
Pale papaya and white ribbon is on sale for $5.20, retiring. Mint macaron retri retiring on sale for $5.10. The very vanilla lace, this is really pretty. I made a card with that recently with the um, daffodils. That's retiring for $5.60. Uh, Playful pets trim retiring at $6.00. Essentials Twine, that's carrying over. Flowers for Every Season, Combo Pack, retiring, discounted to $8, and that's for three different ribbons. Expressions and in Ink Ephemera Pack is retiring. Um, I can't remember if the, I didn't mark the bees or the flat. Oh, the bees are retiring. There's my little R. Bees are retiring. Paper Lattice is retiring, and the loose flowers must be carrying over. All sorts of stuff on here. Oh my gosh. Losing Genial Gems, discounted. Losing Gilded Gems, discounted. Losing Blue Adhesive Back Gems, discounted. Um, in Color Square Gems, discounted. Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels, gone. Or not gone, gone. Retiring. Ugh, can't believe it. I use those on everything. In Color Jewels, retiring, discounted. Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials, retiring, discounted. I was using these on the, um, on the scale for measure, measure of love. You should see this desk. I don't even know where the cards went. Here they are. Oh, now they're on the floor. Um, so if you can see here in the middle of the scale, that little pearl, that's actually a silver, a silver pearl from that metallic pearls set. Artistry and Bloom adhesive back sequins are retiring, discounted. Sequins for everything, retiring, half off. And that's what I used on the shaker card that I showed you with the fishies. I use those for shaker cards a lot and we're that's retiring the whole entire thing. There's like 3,600 pieces in there and it's on sale for six bucks. Playing with patterns, resin dots. Those are retiring. We're keeping the black dots, keeping the opals, keeping the brads. Shaker shapes, those are retiring, discounted. The mason jar shaker domes to go with the punch to make shaker cards. Duh. Those are retiring and they're discounted. And the gilded leafing is carrying over. Um, I believe there's gonna be a price increase on blocks. There are some price increases coming our way as well. Um, designer series paper is increasing. Cardstock is increasing. Some of the adhesives are increasing. I'm gonna have a graphic shared on my Facebook page and my blog. So if you wanna go check that out. Um, also shipping, the shipping prices are changing on April 1st. So you have a, so if you're watching this during the month of March, the next few days, you can still save on the shipping. April 1st, there will be new shipping policies in effect and prices in effect. So watch for that come April 1st. Um, another reason to get those orders in now and not delay. Save on some shipping. Um, okay, punches. We have the Dragonfly punch is carrying over. Elegant Tag is retiring. The Evergreen Border is carrying over, but not the stamp set it coordinates with. Flowers and Leaves Punch is carrying over, but deep, I think it's debundled from the stamp set. That was a long time ago. I don't remember what I said about that. Rewind. Symmetrical Stems Border, retiring. My Strawberries are retiring. Um, if you just want to punch strawberries and you don't care about the stamp set, or if the stamp set sells out and you still want to punch strawberries, they discounted the Strawberry um, Punch to $9.00. You'd have to check and see if buying the strawberry stamp set separate from the punch saves you any money because that's a serious discount on the punch. So you may even not want to use the bundle uh, item code. You may want to order the two separately, depending on what when you're placing your order. 
The turtle punch is discounted to $14.40. We already know the stamp sets run out. The essentials tag is carrying over. Tailored tag is retiring. It's discounted to $14.40. It's great for not only sentiments, but for making flagged borders. I mean, flagged borders, flagged ends on your strips. Whale punch is carrying over. Banners pick a punch carrying over. Fancy tag topper, it's being discontinued and it is discounted to $11.50. Delightful tag topper, retiring, discounted to $18.40. Ice cream cone builder, it's discounted, 50% off, $9.00. So if you still want to be able, if you want to be able to punch ice creams, um, you can grab the punch for 50% off. Uh, treasured tags, pick a punch. Retiring, discounted $11.50, regularly $23. So that is 50% off. Rectangular postage, carrying. Tulip builder, carrying, but not the coordinating punch. Snowman builder, discontinued, stamp set's gone, but you can still build punch snowmen to build for $14.40 for the punch. Lovely Labels Pick a Punch is carrying over. Uh, label Me Lovely, carrying over. Label Me Fancy, carrying over. The Big Daisy, retiring, discounted for $14.40. Medium Daisy, carrying over. We have the Pine Tree Punch, retiring, discounted $14.40. Cat Punch, retiring $10.80. So that's drastically discounted. Double Ovals, carrying over. Sprig, retiring, discounted for $10.80. Jar is carrying over, but not the domes, not the shaker domes. Detailed Trio, retiring, was $20, now only $12. Heart Punch Pack, carrying over, and Everyday Label, bye-bye, was 18, now it's 14.40. All right, what else do I have? Um, don't forget the, right now through the end of March, the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine is on sale for $48, regularly 60, along with a bunch of coordinating die sets and bundles. So you'll have to check that. That's the Savings in Bloom promotion, which is separate than the retirement list, okay? So some of the Savings in Bloom bundles are retiring, so you'll have to keep an eye on those. Or just order now so that you can be sure to get the ones you want. Embossing folders. We've already discussed Animal Print is retiring, drastically discounted to $375. Bark is care is retiring. Brick and mortar is carrying over. Checks and dots is retiring, and it's discounted to six forty. And I love this for like the food, the food bundles. It looks like a tablecloth. Dandelion three D embossing folder to go with that uh, dandelion bundle. It's retiring, it's discounted $4, so it's only $6. Dottie Hearts is retiring. Evergreen Forest is retiring and it's discounted to $8. The Greenery is retiring, <sighs> discounted to $4.80. Keep in mind, um, the Greenery, the Checks and Dots, and the Dottie Hearts Along with over here on the next page, Meadow and Moments, Thanks and Hello, and Wintry 3D. Those all work in the mini. So if you're buying the mini machine at the discounted price, you can pick up some embossing folders that are going to coordinate. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. <coughs> that are going to coordinate and at a discount. Uh, moving on. Okay. Hammered Metal. I'm going to need water. <coughs> Is retiring. 720 discounted. Macrame is retiring, $7.20. Magnolia 3D retiring, discounted to $6. Meadow and Moments retiring for $4. Again, goes in the mini. Ornate Floral is retiring for $5.40. The Painted Texture is carrying over. 
Percy and Flourish is, is retiring for $6. Pretty Flowers is carrying over. The Seashells is carrying over. Tasteful Textile is retiring. I don't get it. And discounted, $7.20. This is awesome. I don't know why that's being discontinued. Thanks and Hello is carrying over and the Wintry 3D um, Duo is carrying over. <sighs> Tasteful textile. I just don't get it. I hope we have a new subtle, you know, all around embossing folder to replace that one. Sigh. Okay. So that about wraps it because we've already gone through all the bundles from, you know, doing our page by page flip. Um, just a quick scan for some dies that don't have coordinating stamp sets that I may have missed. Don't forget all dressed all dressed up to make your little pouches. Um, let's see. Don't forget Hippo and Friends is great just for the um, just for the labels. Even if you don't get the stamp set, it's also discounted for twenty eight eighty. So that's a great one to pick up. Um, for that price. Iconic dies, they do not have a coordinating stamp set or bundle and they're retiring. The birds and more, we already discussed that the stamp set was sold out, but the dies are still great as a standalone set and they're discounted um, $14 off. So at $20, that's a great grab. Uh, let me see. The Messages dies, $27.20 to get all those great um, sentiment labels. Uh, Nature's Thoughts dies, that's in a, that's coordinating with um, a stamp set, but you still get some great standalone dies in here. They were $29, they're more than half off now because they're only four, well, they are half off because they're $14.50 and they have an absolutely fabulous card front die Kind of like the um, the Stitch So Sweetly and things like that. I love this one. I wish I had a sample to show you with this die because I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. Like my Stitch So Sweetly that I'm going to miss. It also has a nice little filigree element, a nice feather with um, embossing in it. So this is great standalone for $14.50 if you don't buy it with the Positive Thought stamp set. And um, what else? Painted labels, we're losing that one, I think. No, maybe we're not losing that one. Err, never mind. We're not losing that one. We're losing the ornate frames and the pets. I'm starting to see red <laughs> everywhere I go. Pierced blooms, oh my gosh. This is awesome. I shared a whole bunch of cards on my Facebook page that I no longer have because I sold them. But these pierced flowers are awesome. And this sentiment label is awesome too. And it's only $18.50 for the whole set. And there's 25 dies in there. And they also coordinate and fit in the mini. So that's an awesome set for only $18.50. I'm almost thinking of getting a second one so that I have duplicates of like the leaves and the bigger flowers. Because I use that a ton. I love this one. Playful Alphabet, we're losing that. That's retiring and it's discounted to $27.20. If you do a lot of scrapbooking, that would be a good one to have. Um, or even to have two of. But you do get a lot of duplicate letters of the most popular letters. So you almost don't need a second set. The poinsettia dies, those are bundled with the poinsettia petal stamp set or coordinate with it. Those are retiring. Um, smooth sailing, we know, is retiring. Snow many, so many snowflakes. The stitch leaves, which I told you are an awesome standalone uh, die set, and they're discounted for $28. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything further in here, so we'll flip over. My stitch so sweetly. I'm going to cry about those for the rest of my life until they come out with something better or the same because I love these. I even wrote crying because I am. I love these dies. 
Do yourself a favor. If you don't have them, buy them. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and if you have them and you use them a lot, buy another set. Sorry, I needed water. <coughs> because, And I'm even thinking of getting another set because I've already started to wear out some of mine. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I knew I was gonna, not going to make it through this without coughing. All right. Anyways, stitch triangles, those are going. And they're discounted to $28. <coughs> We've already talked about the suit and tie dies. And they're $16. Bucks. It was a $32 stamp set. They're discounted for, I mean, die set. $16. I had forgotten that they were 50% off. <coughs> those are a must have. 16 bucks. You have to have those. If you don't have them, go order them right now. Uh, warm wraps, those are discontinued. Those are the ones that make the wraps for the coffee cups. Word wishes was 36, now 2880. Has New Year's, Christmas, Halloween, Merry Valentine's, Mother's Day. Happy, where's birthday? Happy what? Happy Easter, Happy St. Patrick's, Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Valentine's Day, um, Father's, Happy Father's Day. Blah. Okay, $28.80 for that one. Tasteful Labels, already sobbed about that one. It's discounted to $24.80, which is even more awesome. And if I didn't mention it already, Stitch Stars, Regularly $38, discounted to $30.40. Great for Christmas, 4th of July. Um, congratulations for, you know, jobs well done for kids graduating um, or dance recitals, plays, whatever. Anything you need a star for. So I think that's it. I think that is finally wrapping up my catalog walkthrough. If you stuck with me through the whole entire thing, Congratulations and thank you. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope you enjoyed the cards that I presented you with for samples. I have a huge mess to clean up now. And um, if you have any questions or if you need assistance ordering, I'm happy to help you. I'm still down here in this room off of my garage um, watching, watching staples. Watching a belly full of staples. That's all I'm doing. Laying here, watching a dog, making sure she's not chewing staples. So I would love to take some time to help you with an order, answer your questions, chat with you, whatever. Um, I've got links. So whether you're watching me through a link on my blog or a link on Facebook or here on YouTube, um, I've got ordering links in the posts and the descriptions and the whole nine yards that will take you to the uh, retiring list section of my online store. Uh, you can email me at stampwithmarybush at yahoo.com or contact me through my website, stampinginthesand.stampinup.net and contact me with any questions you have. My online store is accessible at stampininthesand.stampinup.net. Um, along with a bunch of card samples. If you go to my projects tab on my website, it'll take you to a bunch of projects I've uploaded there. Um, or on my stampininthesand.blogspot.com is my blog. Again, all the links are in the videos for you. So one click and you'll be there. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Hope you've enjoyed the stamp samples. I hope you're inspired to place your orders for your must-haves before they're gone because I don't know how long they're going to last. And if you would like a copy of the new catalog and do not already have a relationship with another demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you one. You can contact me at um, my email address or through my blog and request a catalog and I'd be happy to put you on my catalog mailing list. And other than that, I hope you have a fabulous day. It's bright and sunshiny here in South Carolina. And I'm in a dark room watching Staples. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Happy stamping. And I hope to hear from you with any questions or assistance you may have. Thanks a lot, guys. And happy stamping. Bye-bye.